are you doing, darling? Well, I'm going to apply uh, an opposite colour over this very orange sky, because I think it's too orange. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm uh, mixing up the opposite colour to it in a glaze. And um, this is ultramarine blue, it's a fully transparent pigment. And so when this goes over the top of that, uh, you'll be able to see through the glaze. Um, it should only uh, really affect the colour, not the uh, opacity, basically. And so what it will do is it will neutralise the orange um, as it's the opposite colour. Um, it might unify the background slightly. Uh, that's another thing that the glaze does. Um, and add saturation to maybe the darker part as well. Um, also, I mean, you can, you can use uh, opposite glazes whenever you have a uh, colour that's too strong in a painting. Uh, if something's too red, you can apply a green. Um, and if it's something too yellow, you can uh, apply a purple. And you're just applying the opposite colour and it should uh, give the painting more nuance in those colours, um, which hopefully you'll find when I put this on. Uh, it may seem kind of crazy to put on an opposite colour to, to a, a colour that you're putting on, the, that you've already got on the canvas, um, because you think, oh, that's pretty drastic. But it, it's amazing how subtle the effect can be if it's if it's mixed down with enough glaze medium. What's it's, the medium? That you're using? It's uh, this one. It's a Cremar um, oil painting medium that's fast drying, um, and I think that's got like Damar resin in it, uh, turpentine. Uh, a bit of uh, linseed oil, sand, sand oil, I think, and it's it's quite viscous, um, but it seems to do the trick. Anyway, I'll put on a bit of it so you can see what it does. Uh, hopefully that's it's down enough. So go over on this side. And the moment when it goes on, you're like, oh wow, that's it's a bit too blue. But it's only because you're used to seeing an orange there. But as it goes over the entire painting, you're like, oh yeah, that works. And you see that orange is now blending in with the, the blue that's already there quite nicely. Whereas before, I think it was sticking out too much. Also, having um, a blue or a, a cooler colour coming over the background uh, should knock the background back a bit as well, because I found like it, it was interfering too much with the skin tone. Now, once it goes on like this, then of course you can start using your, your hands or cotton wool buds to, um, to sort of sculpt the paint, if you like. So and also to remove the brush strokes. And so, go over it like this, with the palm of your hand, and it completely flattens out all the brush strokes that were there. And then after that, you can go in a little bit more, just to bring out some of the, the lighter bits with the, if you wanna take it off a little bit more. But yeah. And this is, yeah, you'll get m way more nuance in your colours if you start playing around with opposite colours over each other like this, you know? It's way more than you can sort of blend in one go. It has a completely different effect when you use a glaze. So like sort of diffracting off all the, all the pigments before it hits the, uh, the dead colouring that you put behind it. And so it's, it, it works in a completely different way than if you were to mix the colour straight. So yeah, as you can see, it's like knocking all of the orange out of that bit in comparison to this. Anyway, there you go.